Okay, in this video, we want to solve this limit problem right here. And in the description box of this video, there are two playlists. One playlist has categorized specific limit problems, and the other playlist has uncategorized just random problems. So let's start this problem. And what I always like to do is just plug in to see if it even works. So it says the limit as x approaches negative 5. If I plug a negative 5 here, I get negative 5 plus 5, which is 0. Likewise, negative 5 plus 5 is 0. Having 0 divided by 0 is a red flag that you have to approach this problem in a different way. And because we have the absolute value, that's a red flag that we need to analyze it. So we have the absolute value of x plus 5, and we have to understand that the absolute value of x plus 5, it behaves just like x plus 5 whenever x is greater than or equal to negative 5. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Likewise, it also behaves like negative parentheses x plus 5 whenever x is less than negative 5. So let's try this. If x is negative 5, we get negative 5 plus 5 is 0. Likewise, negative 5 plus 5 is 0. It matches. x is greater than or equal to negative 5. That could be negative 4, it could be 10, it could be whatever. So let's try um, 0, because 0 is bigger than negative 5. 0 plus 5 is 5. 0 plus 5 is 5. They're a match. Likewise, it behaves like this whenever x is less than negative 5. So we could try negative 6. Negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1, but the absolute value of negative 1 is in fact 1. Likewise, negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1, and a negative negative 1 is in fact 1. So they're a match. Now in our problem, it says x is approaching negative 5. So we have to actually analyze two forms. We have to analyze it to the left of negative 5 and also to the right of negative 5. And so we have to use both of them. So to the left of negative 5 would behave like this. So we could do negative parentheses x plus 5 divided by our x plus 5. Likewise, to the right of negative 5 would behave like this. So we could do our x plus 5 divided by x plus 5. Now the x plus 5s cancel out and we get negative 1 for this one because we have a negative right here. x plus 5 cancels out and we get a 1. And because both values are different, the limit would be does not exist. And that's pretty much it for this video.